What's up YouTube? This is just going to be a quick update on what's going on here at my house. Oh, let's see. I guess uh, first to say again, we're a little busy at work, so the videos are a little slow coming out, but I am tearing apart more packs. I've been tearing apart a lot of these guys. These are also medical packs, but these only produce around anywhere from 16 to 1900 milliamps. I do have quite a few of these and I could probably almost get another 10 kilowatt watt just out of these batteries alone or maybe just a little bit less it'd probably be more like eight I do have more of these packs I need to take apart but like I was saying during the live stream is these ones are a pain in the ass to get apart and it's mainly because it's almost like each one of these are glued together so somebody said maybe just use acetone to take them apart so I might be trying that to see if they come apart a little easier because when I do tear them apart all of the heat shrink usually tears off so it's kind of a pain in the ass and I really don't don't want to re-shrink wrap them all but I guess if I have to then I will. Over here all of these cells are all tested and ready to go and over here for the 18650 awesomest battery charging thingy I've only got uh, five in here right now because I need to take apart more cells but that is doing awesome right now. Over here, of course, I'm using every available charging slot that I have. I just swapped them out, so they are doing the discharge right now. These ones still have to be tested. Of course, these ones, or these ones right here, still have to be tested as well. These are some of the lower milliamp cells, and all of those over there are all tested and above 2,000, so that is going good for those. And in my hoard pile, I did pick up some of these the other day. Um, I think these are either the LG cells or the Molly cells, so I'm kind of looking forward to tear one of these open. I got this, um, I think that was a few weeks ago or a month ago. I still have not taken it apart to see what's on the inside. It's just like a little mini power bank. These right here I still have from like a month or two ago. I still have a whole bunch of these. These are the red 18650s and I think they only produce when they're brand new is 1850 milliamp hours. So I still have a whole bunch of those to get through. Down here I still have a bunch of these little three packs. These are the green cells. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with these quite yet. And these are roughly I think 1050 milliamps brand new or maybe around I don't know, 1100, 1200. These little things usually have the pink Samsung cells in them, so those are pretty good. They're a pain in the ass to take apart though. Over here I have more of these cells. I don't remember what's quite, I don't remember exactly what's in these ones. I think they're reds as well. And I think those are reds also. And right over here I still have what? Um, one, two, three, four. I still have 10 of these things. These are kind of a pain in the ass to get into, but they produce pretty good cells. These can also have either the red Sanyos or the pink Samsung, so that's good. Let's see, right here, I did get some of these. I have not taken them apart yet to see what's on the inside. And those are HPs. I don't know if you can read any of those numbers or not. 14.8 volts and 59 watt hours so yeah i still have a little box of batteries right there i gotta tear into also and over here uh let's see we got each cell they're 4.01 or 4.02 or 3. i guess technically you could use these as the temperature on the inside of the server rack and i believe that's around 65 degrees for 18 degrees c and maybe right at 60 for 15. let's see i am putting 700 watts into the battery bank and i am running my refrigerator right now and back here yeah you probably can't see that but it's roughly 800 watts total from the solar panels so my refrigerator is using anywhere from 150 whatever watts so all of this is doing pretty good and it has been running for roughly 24 hours so I've pulled out 2.13 kilowatt hours I think oh 22 hours and seven minutes so that's how long the fridge has been on it for this cycle so 2.13 kilowatt hours and there's Horace And there's Beyonce, I almost didn't see you, you little ninja. And for for this little thing that I got from Joe's channel, I was his 100th subscriber, I did try this with my camera, and I had to make like a two female or male prong 
connector, whatever you call it, uh, to go from this into my dummy battery for the camera. I did use this. I turned it on. The camera worked for a couple of minutes, so I thought I was good. So then I get ready to actually do some video recording and it shut off. So I'm pretty sure the batteries were full charged. I'm gonna have to try it again to make sure and see how long it lasts. But if it doesn't work, then this won't put out enough amperage for my camera. And of course, whenever I thought it was working, I put some Velcro on here and on the tripod, you know, to make it all look a little nicer, and then it didn't work. So I think down here on the underneath side, I don't know, of course it's hot glued over and whatnot, but for the nine volt, I don't remember exactly what the amperage was since I covered it all up, but I think it was only like 1.1 or 1.2 amps. And let's see, I still have all kinds of stuff back here to do videos on, but it's only when I have the time to do it. I am done with testing all the batteries. We're doing the comparison test for all the chargers. It's just whenever I get time, I have to write down all the milliamp hours on something and then kind of compare them and whatnot. I did it two different ways. I tested four batteries in each charger and I did it repeatedly five times. And then there was another suggestion for testing one battery at a time and then rotating it to each charger after that. So I also did that five times. So as soon as I get some time, I will do that as well. I'm also doing the cryptocurrency and that's doing pretty good as well, I think, for my little cheapo cards and the videos for that will be out here shortly as well and I'll probably start off with just my journey into the cryptocurrency again I don't know a lot about crypto quite yet so I have to start at the very very bottom and I'm gonna include my little fiasco with trying the one gig card even though it's probably pointless in that video anyway all right so that is my update and I will see you guys on the next one these are also any but focus but if it doesn't I think it's down here underneath I for doing the where am I at crypto um, 